I'm Deepak Chopra. You're watching One World with Deepak Chopra. It's coming to you today from Deepak Home Base in New York. And my very special guest today is Vladimir Ermakov. And he's the co-founder and CEO of a new company called Globin. Vladimir received his MS in Robotics from Carnegie Mellon University. So let's talk a little bit about your background. You grew up in? Uh... I grew up in Russia. I was born in Moscow. And I moved to the United States with my parents when I was 13. Mm -hmm. um, all my parents are doctors. Uh, my dad is a biologist uh, uh, working in the pharmaceutical industry. And uh, he got uh, an invitation to a startup. Uh, and uh, we moved here temporarily first with the family and to stayed around city? for 20 years. Uh, to Palo Alto. I see. So you were 13, uh, you went to school here then, high school? Uh, yes, I and went then, to high school and then to university. Where? Uh, I did my bachelor's in San Diego. I see. Uh, I did bachelor's in computer science and a minor in sociology. Uh -huh. And then I worked in the tech industry. So f for me, in general, it, my throughout my career, I was always trying to balance between my passion for technology and my passion for uh, social change, and uh, in university, uh, well, I was I knew I I want to do something with technology, and I studied computer science. I actually uh, learned to program before I even saw a computer reading a book. Uh, but uh, I was always curious about different uh, cultures, different societies, how they work. So I did minor in sociology, but after I graduated, I. Uh, went hardcore into tech. I worked in robotics uh, on uh, uh, revolutionary robotic technology. It's a vacuum cleaner that builds the map of the environment. Uh, the company is called Neato Robotics, and now it's the second most sold vacuum cleaner robot out there. Actually, the second most sold robot. And you were involved period. in the development of that. Right? I was the first employee at that company, and I was involved in uh, the technology behind it. And then you left that to start a new career. So when, I, when the product was about to be released, I realized uh, that uh, I achieved the dream of many people who work in robotics, put a product on the sh store shelves. And I didn't feel satisfied. Uh, that's, uh, I mean, it's good to help people to clean their home and save a little bit of time. But I felt like I can do much more and I can uh, use my skills to impact billions of people. And uh, I wanted to find a way to do that. So I went back to university. I went to Carnegie Mellon, which is a great school that has uh, uh, a lot of interdisciplinary studies where you apply technology to solve socially significant problems. I worked there on uh, detecting forest fires using satellite images and uh, detecting sea turtle nests uh, in the sand using uh, ground penetrating radars uh, in the autumn lab.